With the tight labor market, workers are hard to come by. Some employers are having to raise wages well above the federal minimum wage. In many places, the federal minimum wage is no longer a livable wage. The federal minimum wage at $7.25 an hour hasn't changed in 14 years. But with unemployment at a historic low of just 3.5 percent, employers are offering much more to attract scarce workers and keep them on their payroll in today's tight jobs market. In addition, 30 states and Washington, D.C. have now passed wage minimums that are often much higher than the federal minimum, making it increasingly irrelevant in some places. In such an environment, workers have the upper hand to demand higher pay. And so we can look at, for example, some of the largest retailers in the country, which have uh, raised their wages uh, somewhat consistently over recent years. And that was not because they had a, a social objective in mind. It was because they need to accomplish their business objectives. And they also want to have team members that are engaged and are in a position to succeed. If, if these people are essentially not able to put food on the table, uh, then how are they going to show up for work? Bank rate senior economic analyst Mark Hamrick says workers are also prioritizing working from home and four day work weeks coming out of the pandemic. In a world where hybrid work and remote work are prioritized, along with a four day work week, uh, some businesses are having to pay more just to attract the kind of worker they want. At bank rate, we just unveiled a new survey this week that found that 89% of American workers are prioritizing some combination of a four-day work week, remote work, or hybrid work. Five states don't have their own minimum wages, including Alabama, Louisiana, Mississippi, South Carolina, and Tennessee. In those cases, the federal minimum wage kicks in. Retailers and restaurants are also raising wages on their end to compete in the tight labor market. Because I want to keep my, you know, good workers and they've been loyal to me for so many years, so I don't mind paying them extra. But a raise in wages also means a raise in customer prices. The folks are making a good living, but it's, it's costing us. We're going to have to definitely raise prices. Now there is a push in Congress brought by Senator Bernie Sanders to raise the federal minimum wage to $17 by 2028. However, the likelihood of it passing through Congress is slim. Stephanie Sandoval, Scripps News, Nashville.